So is this the smallest phone in the world? I don't know. Let's find out. All right, how's it going? If this is the first time you're seeing this beautiful face, hello, my name is Scott and I like to make videos, generally about life, work, home, tech, whatever takes my fancy really. So um, if you're new to my channel or you have yet to, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified because it's a notification bell of when I upload new videos. Thanks. So it's been a short while. So um, where have I been? What have I been up to? What's been keeping me busy? Well, should you have the slightest care in the world, I'm just about to tell you. So life in general has just been busy. Um, Olivia is now finally settled into her school routine. Although actually me and Lisa are still adjusting to this routine. Um, and more importantly, we're adjusting to the new Olivia. That's right, she comes home from school spouting something new every single day. It just amazes me. What amazes me even more is uh, the fact that she gets about 50,000 pieces of homework every single night. Seriously, seriously, the girl has more homework in a week than I had in my entire five years of secondary school. It is absolutely crazy. And also not to forget, when she comes home now, she is absolutely famished. She is eating us out of house and home. Do they not feed them at school anymore? It's also recently just been Halloween and uh, being the big kid I am, uh, I like to go big at Halloween, as do a few others on our estate. And seeing as I now have a daughter, I have an excuse to without seeming a bit weird and giving sweets to little kids. Olivia and the Trick or Treaters absolutely loved it. Um, this year's theme as chosen by Olivia was witches. And I must say, um, I was quite proud of myself this year, but I do have a few ideas for next year involving maybe a bit of live action. And finally, I mentioned in my previous video, we were doing a house revamp. Lisa wanted to freshen things up. So um, we started with painting. The entire house has been completely painted and uh, we've done a complete overhaul of the playroom and of the study. And if you haven't already noticed, this is the new study. I'm filming in the new study right now. So let's roll the B-roll of said new study. So you're probably thinking, well, there wasn't really anything wrong with the old study. And you'd be right. But I want to do a bit more filming in here, get a bit of different angles. So the idea was to declutter, uh, change the lighting to be more video friendly, because there was some horrible orange light in here before that was just bleh, disgusting. So um, changed the lighting, gave it a refresh, fresh lick of paint, a bit of new furniture. And now it's not so, not so boring, a bit more interesting. And not to mention, I can now film from lots of different angles. Obviously right now, I can film from this angle, but I can also film from, from this angle. And this angle with a nice plain background. And there's this angle with the TV on. We have this angle with the rule of thirds and the bookcase in the background. And there's also this angle with the TV off. This angle, this angle, this angle, this angle, this angle, this angle, maybe not this angle. Yeah, so I think you've got the idea now. So um, on with the phone review. And then as if by magic, here I am in the playroom. And it's time for another incomprehensive review of this. This is the Sonica Mini Mobile. Takes nano SIM and micro SD, voice changer, dual SIM, standalone phone. Now obviously, this isn't a smartphone. Um, this is a tiny phone. And I saw it in one of those phone repair shop case kind of style. And I thought, you know what? I need to have a play with that. So here we are playing with it. Here we go. What's in the box? It's a grommet of some description. We got the wrong trousers, grommet. Micro USB, we have this. Oh, actually, hold on a minute. Look at that, best blue two feather. <laughs> Look how small this is. I have to work out how to get it open. To unlock, I guess. I need to read the manual. I'm failing. I, what? Well, that's telling me to turn it. I paid 40 pounds, can't get the case off. Fail. Right. I'm in. 
One of the um, drawbacks of being so small is everything is extremely fiddly. Right, okay, so there we have the back off. So now, now we need a SIM card. Now we want to put the SIM card in. Got it, right, SIM is locked in. Battery is in, case is back on. Let's turn it on. <gasps> it's working! It says welcome! Actually, what would you what would you even use this for? That's cool, isn't it? So let's get my phone out of my pocket and see if it works. It has not been possible to connect your call. I'm trying to call this now. Well, no, no, don't say my telephone number, please. On the video. That won't be good. Put my telephone number on the internet. Can you hear me? I can hear you. You can hear me. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. So there you go, it makes telephone calls. The world's smallest phone makes telephone calls. I don't know actually how I'm gonna verify if, if this is the world's smallest phone. So we've established it makes telephone calls. It's very fiddly. It's a very pain in the bum to get anything done with it. But um, I've also now just worked out that actually will allow you to send text messages. How easy is it to send a text, right? So I found the menu system now. In the menu, we have phone book, messaging, call center, multimedia, Bluetooth, extras, and settings. I'm not going through all of them. I just want to see whether I can send a text message. Remember the old three button? We used to press it three times to send a text, me text message. Send to, enter number. I got a text message. It says hello, because that's about all I could type on this tiny little phone. So why would you want such a tiny phone other than just to make a video about it because it looked cool? I don't know. As an emergency, a backup to keep in your purse or your pocket as a backup. If you were a drug dealer like Walter White from Breaking Bad and you wanted to hide the phone from your missus, that would be quite quite easy to hide. If you were in prison, <clears throat> if you were in prison and it was getting smuggled in via the um, you know what I mean? But other than that, there's probably no practical use why any normal human being would want a phone of this size. Although it is very cool. So um, there you go. Not really a comprehensive review and was over quite quick. So do you want to see the playroom instead? Yeah? Okay. Let me let me show you the playroom. So this is the playroom. Um, and there's a smudge on my lens. Wait there. You really shouldn't wipe a lens with a t-shirt. But anyway, this is the playroom and... Mm, I'd say not much has changed, but it does look completely different. So what we've done, if you remember here, there was units and TV, they're all gone. It's been painted gray, the same as the study. All the woodwork has now been painted, all the kids' storage and toys, so it still functions with the playroom, is all down the back. So I'm currently lighting the playroom with two studio lights because I haven't had the ceiling lights fitted yet. And we still have this, yuck orange light there which is no good for video so we've got a couple of lights to go in the ceiling which will light this properly carpet still the same uh ikea we love you oh i love you anyway ikea sofa yeah so now um we have the we i say we i have the new study in the play with the filming because it's not like lisa ever does any filming uh well, nice comfy sofa but also oh, actually one thing i haven't shown you do you remember that really, really janky home cinema setup? It kind of really annoyed me because I got OCD, massive OCD, and the jankiness and stuff. So what we've done is, and I already showed you, <laughs> put the blind on there, on the door there to keep the, um, the light out. If you look up here, that's the projector now with the cables hidden. There's no cables going down the wall or any of that jankiness anymore and the screen thank you to uh facebook marketplace i found for 30 pounds if you look up there it's the controller box all hidden and cabled so if you follow me down here yeah. as if by magic a screen appears from nowhere and because i don't know if you can see up there there's also an apple tv up there which means i can connect it to this bluetooth speaker down here it's a full-on cinema for cheapest chips. <laughs> and there you have it. 120 inches of, of goodness. So there you go. Um, if you've noticed any continuity errors in this video, I apologise because it's taken me three weeks. That's right, three weeks to film this video in bits and bobs and cut it all together because work's been hectic, life's been hectic, I've just been bleh, kind of thing. So, um, and also if you did notice continuity and if you did notice any continuity errors, then actually you're probably watching these videos just a little bit too close. 
Peace out. So that's the end of the video. Uh, don't forget, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. A subscribe would be even better. Let me know in the comments box below if you've got any comments, questions, or feedback. And as always, until the next video, goodbye, internet. Put this chain on me, like they all hate on me. Don't bring that rage on me. Why they throwing shade on me, like they all shade.